Tom Gazzola alongside Bob Stoffer inside BB&T Center. Bob, about six minutes ago, uh, they started letting fans in. A lot of jerseys, a lot of Oilers jerseys, and uh, a McDavid jersey or two. Uh, why would that be the case? I don't know. I think we have a pretty significant night for, uh, for Edmonton Oilers hockey fans and a night that could be one that ends up transforming the fortunes of an entire organization with the generational players. So an immense amount of excitement. And there's already been... The Boston Bruins have been on the clock, and they've been wheeling and dealing hey, this afternoon. Stoff, we haven't even kicked things off here, and they're, they're making big deals, uh, a couple of them. Uh, the Oilers were in the mix and with the Boston yeah. uh, situation. Just give us a run-through of what you've heard and, right. and what's kind of so, gone, so, gone on. I mean, I'm stunned at uh, how little the return was for Dougie Hamilton. A 15th overall pick from the Calgary Flames, a 45th pick, and a 52nd pick. I am led to believe that uh, the Boston Bruins' starting point was Darnell Nurse in right. any deal. For, that's a big ask. That's a big ask. The seventh overall pick a couple of years ago, and a guy who uh, very much like Dougie Hamilton could step in and be an impact player in the NHL uh, within the first couple of years. And then, uh, you know, you look at what the Oilers could have theoretically offered, a 16 to 39, or a 16 to 33, and a, a 57. Yep. To me, that trumps what Calgary did. Yep, absolutely. And yet absolutely. the Calgary Flames got Dougie Hamilton. And then just a matter of moments ago, the uh, LA Kings have acquired Milan Lucic, from the Boston Bruins for goaltender Martin Jones. Kudos to Bill Ranford yep. for developing Martin Jones, uh, as well as the 13th overall pick. So right now, Boston owns the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th picks. And what are they doing? What are they doing? They're trading up, and they're going to okay. get Noah Hannafin. They're going to get the third pick overall from the Arizona Coyotes. That will be my prediction. You have three picks at 13, 14, and 15. Loading up. And Martin Jones, they're loading up. They're looking to make a deal. Stoff, you brought it up. Two goalies off the board, Martin Jones, Robin Leonard earlier in the day. Yeah. People wanting to know what the Oilers are going to do at the goaltender position. Are we going to see something today? Because it sounds like may might have to tap our brakes on uh, the goalie talk today. Well, you know, uh, I think we looked to general manager Peter Shirelli earlier today, said he would not part with the 16th overall pick for a goaltender that had yet to prove himself to be a number one guy. Cam Talbot, uh, I believe Dallas will be very interested in Cam Talbot, and they have Kari Lettinen at right. $5.9 million. But Cam Talbot, the New York Rangers, I'm told, have got a number one uh, for Cam Talbot. We know it's not the Edmonton Oilers. Right. And I don't expect the Oilers to uh, elevate to, uh, to get Talbot at this time. So we might be looking into free agency before Edmonton gets their goaltending totally resolved. Hey, as we close in uh, on the draft actually kicking off, who are we liking at 16? And especially now with Boston picking up these three wow. picks? If the Oilers hold the pick at 16, and I, it's an if, uh, you know, I think the range of players we're looking at there, um, Joel Eriksson Ek out of Sweden, I think will merit serious consideration. If Jenny Svechnikov at 16, uh, potentially even Paul Bittner, bigger body. I wonder if Boston, Portland, yep. if Boston holds on to one of those picks. I wonder if that's the guy that comes into play. Uh, you know, a smaller guy that's competitive is Travis Connecting. Right. Out of the Ottawa 67s. I saw a play against Belleville earlier this year. But I think the Oilers might lean to a bigger body, a guy that can play in their top six. Okay, so uh, draft coming up uh, shortly. We've got lots of updates for you. We're going to go live a whole bunch of times tonight. Stoff you and uh, Jack and Reed on 630 Chad. You can tune in there if you're in the car. Uh, stay connected to EdmontonOilers.com and Oilers TV all night long.